Hey everyone, Tech Steve here with another video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about this Sony soundbar. This is the HTS-200F. Now, when I went looking for soundbars, kind of keeping the price range under the $150 range, one thing that really stood out to this one is that this particular soundbar has HDMI arc, so you can plug it right to your TV and control it. Additional to that, it has a built-in subwoofer, so I'm very excited to see what that sounds like in this speaker. Now, if you've been watching my last few videos, I've been doing some sound bars under $100, so this is a little bit more, and I will tell you guys that this will be the last sound bar video until early next year, because I have a lot of TV videos to start doing for you guys again. So with that being said, sit back and relax, and let's get started. So the speaker has 2.1 audio, that stereo sound with the built-in subwoofer. You're gonna have the HDMI with ARC input. It also supports Bluetooth 4.2, and S-Force Pro is gonna give you like this virtual surround sound. You have Dolby Audio and Clear Plus Audio, which changes the speaker to sound the best with any audio that you play through it automatically. So let's go ahead and get it opened up here. All right. So we have a startup guide. And this is something I normally don't like is an external power transformer. I like when they're built in. You're gonna get a fiber optic cable. Another half of that transformer power with some batteries. And here we have the remote control. Some user's manual and a wall mount template. And now we have the speaker. So let's take a closer look with all this put together. So we're gonna get into the details of the speaker, but this is everything that came in the box. One thing that really stood out to me is that they actually give you a full instruction book, which a lot of manufacturers are sending you over to the website for a PDF. So after taking this soundbar out of the box, I noticed it feels very heavy and very dense, and that's really nice because you want a speaker that's built very solid. Also, it feels like they're using wood instead of cheap plastics, so I think Sony's overall doing it right. But let's take a closer look at it. On the front of the speaker, you're gonna find two full range drivers powered by a 25 watt by two amplifier and has a frequency response of 200 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. And here's a closer look at the drivers behind the grill. On the left and right side of the speaker, you're gonna find a side-loaded port to give you that extra bass response. On the back of the speaker, you're gonna find two slots to mount it on the wall to make it very convenient if you plan on mounting your TV on the wall. And on the bottom of the soundbar, you're gonna find a subwoofer with a 30 watt amplifier and has a frequency response of 100 hertz. Unlike a lot of soundbars, this actually has touch controls. So you have your power, your input select button, Bluetooth, volume up and down, and it also has indicators to show you which input has been used. Here's a closer look at the inputs. This little sensor right here can actually turn on TV sets as long as it's powered by IR, and that's a pretty cool feature. You have your HDMI output to connect to an ARC power TV set. You have a fiber optic input, and there's also a USB drive that can play files like MP3s, WMA, and WAV files. So now that I showed you the back of it, let me explain one last thing to you. When it comes to this IR sensor on the back, it's really in case you put this in front of a television set and the remote control no longer works. So what this speaker will do is when you point a remote control to the front of it, it then passes that signal to the back to go back to your source. So this is ideal when you have some of the older TV sets, but I will tell you some of the newer, more advanced television sets like the Sony that I have, the 750H, has a Bluetooth remote control, so that is not an issue. Now let me show you guys the remote control in detail that came with this soundbar. Now look at the remote control, you have your input button and that's gonna select through the different sources like your Bluetooth, your TV, you have your power button. Now auto sound is gonna basically level everything out so it gives you the best EQs when listening to music. You have standard mode as well as cinema, music and voice. And then you have night mode and that's when you're watching TV late at night and you wanna kinda suppress all of the bass response. Then you have your volume up and down and the bass feature right there. Next you have a mute button and a play mode is for the USB on the back of it. And audio mode lets you switch to the different surround sound like Dolby Audio. And then of course you have the controls right here for the USB. So overall, that's all you need to know about this remote control. Now when it comes to connecting this soundbar to Bluetooth, it'll work on an Android Pixel, a Samsung device, or even an iPhone to play your music through the speaker. Now, I'm not for sure if it'll hold multiple devices, but from what I'm seeing, you can only program one device at a time. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it so you guys can enjoy music from your smartphone, tablet, 
computer, or anything you like that has Bluetooth. To set it up with Bluetooth is very easy. Just take a smart device and go ahead and power it on. Once it finds the HTS200, just press on it. And now it's connected. You can then pull up your favorite music like Google Music, Apple's Music, and then you can change tracks. You can go backwards, play and pause. And then you can also change the volume. And one thing I noticed on this device, you actually see your volume on your phone. So as you guys can see, it literally took 10 seconds to connect to my smart device and I can start enjoying any audio files from my phone. Now I'm gonna let you guys hear the audio test on this just with music. Then we're gonna take it to the other room where I can show you guys how to look at the on-screen menu to control a USB thumb drive, hook it up with HDMI, and compare it with speakers and a Samsung Q60 versus a soundbar. Now we're going to do a sound demo showing you guys the TV set. So if you look here, I have the HDMI plugged into the back of the sound bar on the HDMI. I also have a USB thumb drive with a few songs on it so you guys can hear what it sounds like when it's underneath a TV set. And on the other side of this cable, I have it plugged into the HDMI 2 where it says eARC on this Samsung Q60T. So one thing I want to show you guys, as soon as I turn this TV set on, it automatically found the sound bar. And if you hit the OK button, you can see at the top of it, it's already configured from HDMI 2. Now the soundbar does have a menu, so let me turn it on and show you. So if you're on the right input, this is what it shows. It basically tells you to go back into the TV set and switch to some type of source so you can play the audio. Now with that on, if I hit the input button, now I'm on the USB drive that I showed you guys earlier. As you can see, it's looking for the files on it. And these are some files that I loaded up earlier. So I hope you guys like that demo, but let me be honest with you guys. When I first heard this speaker here on the desk, I was like, to have a subwoofer, it sounds pretty flat. And it goes to show when you load this underneath a TV set or in a corner, it really brings the side ports, the subwoofer to life because when I heard it in the living room, I thought it sounded completely different. So that demo on the TV speakers, when I switched over to this, you can see that the audio really came to life. So will I recommend the speaker? Yes, for $129, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And I think if you're looking for something small, compact, this has everything that you need and it's full of features. I just like all the features of it. But if you wanna know more about the soundbar, I'm gonna leave all those links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.